Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, hard drive reviews. It's kind of difficult to make a hard drive review and make it an exciting video to watch, really. But bear with me, because what I've got for you today is more than just a hard drive. It is this, which on the first of it, you go, oh, well, that's an external hard drive. It looks like a gajillion other external hard drives on the market. But this is the WD MyCloud EX2 Ultra which is a long ass name, but it is more than just a hard drive. It's one of those NASs or NAS, Network Attached Storage Devices, and it does more than just provide storage on your network as well. It has a whole bunch of tips and tricks and little features and whiz bang twirly things. So what's so freaking hot about the MyCloud EX2 Ultra? Well, first things first, I'm not going to be able to tell you everything it does because the list of features and stuff it actually does is very long. What I'm going to do is tell you about the stuff that I'm personally excited by. You can go to the website and check out all the other stuff it does for yourself once you get uh, sort of a taste of how exciting this thing is as far as hard drives go anyway. Well, anyway, well, first things first, like I said, it's more than just an external hard drive. It's more than just a network attached storage device. In fact, it's more appropriate to think about it as a little standalone server, a specialized computer in its own right, because that is precisely what it is. It churns along on a Marvel Armand A385 dual core CPU running at 1.3 gigahertz, and it has a gigabyte of DDR3 memory and a gigabit LAN port. The drives themselves in this 8 terabyte unit here are two 4 terabyte 3.5 inch WD RED hard drives. Now, for those who don't know, the WD Red branded drives are the ones specifically made for servers and network attached storage. They're designed for hard lives of constant running in warm temperatures with a superb reputation for reliability. But you can also get this model in a 12 terabyte out of box version. And in fact, you can even buy it without any drives in it at all if you'd rather bring along your own. Mine's the 8 terabyte version, and I've got it set up in a RAID configuration for data security's sake, which takes my total storage down to 4 terabytes. Now, for those of you who don't quite understand what a RAID array is, basically all I've done here is got it treating the two 2 terabyte drives as mirrors of each other, so every last byte of data has a backup on the other drive, basically. And that means if one of these drives dies or is corrupted or whatnot, I don't lose a single byte of data. All I need to do is drop in another new drive to replace the failed one, and it will automatically re-image the data across to the new drive, like nothing had ever happened. And for those of you who do know what RAID configurations are, you can of course set it up in a variety of different RAID configurations for data security or to boost performance, depending on what you value more. Or of course, you can just treat both drives as one big 8TB drive. There's two USB 3.0 ports on the back. You can use these to attach still more drives and have the MyCloud X2 Ultra serve those up to the network also. Or you can set it up so that the internal drives automatically back themselves up to an attached drive. That's handy. You can even have the EX2 Ultra recognize a camera plugged into one of these USB ports and have it automatically copy and back up all of the photos and videos on the camera's memory card to a directory and a naming structure of your choosing. And if you're like me and are constantly moving videos and photos from memory cards, that makes life super easy. Just plug it in and let it do its thing. No dragging, dropping, no clicking buttons, no imports, no, it just does it. Now, as far as interface goes, you can access a superbly easy to use interface for monitoring, setup, control, updating, and even installation of apps, and we'll get back to that in a second, through a nice clean browser-based interface. And of course, you can also log into it from WD's iPhone and Android apps as well. And from the browser interface, you've got tons of control over behavior, everything from setting up a backup procedure, either locally or across the network or to an attached USB drive, and even to a cloud-based service somewhere like Amazon's S3 service, for instance. And of course, it can be used with Apple's own OSX Time Machine backup service. You can set it up so you can have access to your files from anywhere in the world at all, like your own personal cloud storage system. In fact, it literally is your own personal cloud storage system. That's why they call it the MyCloud to begin with. <laughs> From the interface, you can also monitor load on the CPU and memory use and storage use breakdowns by file type and a swathe of other useful tools for managing the storage. WD's browser-based interface is easily the best I've ever used for this type of thing. Everything is clean and easy and sensibly laid out and easy enough even for a newbie to understand, but with an astonishing level of power and control buried under the hood. It's amazing. A moment ago, I did mention being able to swap out a failed drive, or indeed you can simply swap out a drive for a larger capacity one if you reach the need for still more space. 
On the X2 Ultra, this is made super easy thanks to the hinged top panel, which just opens up to reveal the two completely toolless drive caddies. It's literally the work of moments to hot swap in a new drive. The only real complaint I have to make about the hardware itself is the fan. Now, like I said at the beginning, this is more than just a mere hard drive. There's a little computer in there, too, making you do all the sweet and fancy stuff we've been talking about so far. And when it's working hard, just like most computers, it spins up a fan to keep the thermals under control. And for my tastes, well, that fan is a bit on the loud side, actually. To be fair, under most use cases I have been testing, the fan rarely needs to spin up too loud at all, and most of the time it was as quiet as any other external drive. But under specific workloads, like for example transcoding a video and streaming it across the network to my Apple TV, it does get loud enough to notice. It's not obnoxiously loud, but it's enough that you'll need to consider where you place the drive in your home so that noise when it does spin up doesn't actually interfere with you watching the video. And on that point of spitting video files around, my main use case for this unit in my testing period has been using it as my main entertainment media storage and Plex server. You heard me right. There's a fully featured Plex server app you can install right from within the browser interface itself. It's all official, properly supported, it's from Plex themselves, there's no weird little third-party workarounds or anything, it is proper Plex. And it works precisely like the Plex server you may be used to running on your desktop or your laptop or PC-based media server in the closet somewhere. The features are identical, the interface is identical, and the performance, well, it's actually better than the setup that I had before with one of my old MacBooks running Plex with a normal USB external hard drive attached to it. Not only is this a cleaner, smaller, much more efficient setup, but where I used to have occasional hitches in playback from the MacBook-based server and buffering issues with 1080p content in particular and other high bitrate content, most likely because it was on the Wi-Fi really, with my MyCloud EX2 Ultra-based Plex server, playback of everything has been utterly flawless. Perfect, clean, smooth playback of everything everything, a bunch of different file types, a bunch of different resolutions and bit rates and all that sort of stuff, everything played back perfectly. It has been literally flawless and that blew me away. The drive itself is connected over Ethernet, of course, and my Apple TV, my main portal for my Plex content, is pulling the content feeds over Wi-Fi. Using the MyCloud X to Ultra as my Plex server and media storage alone sells it for me. It is just super duper wonderful for that. But pile on top of that the mountain of other features, and it's easy for me to call it the absolute best NAS I've ever used, no question. No other solutions I've had even come close to being this simple to set up, maintain, and use. And with the 2TB RAID setup on the 4TB model I've got going here, I'm up and running superbly well, my data is secure, and when I do start hitting the walls of that capacity, I know I can hot swap in larger drives at the drop of a hat and just let the RAID system rebuild the data across to the new drive automatically. Zero fuss, zero stress, it just... Well, to coin someone else's phrase, it just works. <laughs> In fact, with WD's new on the street 8 terabyte fancy pants helium field red NAS drives, I think I know exactly what my next move already is going to be for this thing, because ka-chow, those monsters are so tempting. <laughs> but anyway, back on the point if I can stop nerding out about those new hard drives. The WD MyCloud EX2 Ultra is far more simply clever than its awkward naming convention would suggest. Like I said, it's without peer. The, capital T, H, E, the most elegant and easy to use home and small office network detached storage device that I know about. And the built-in feature sets aside the niftiness of the apps like Plex, of course, but also a whole pile of other useful stuff like WordPress, transmission clients, Icecast, PHP BB, and there's a bunch more other stuff sitting there right now, and more to come in the future, I expect. The potential here is nerdtastic. So there you go, when you see this sitting on the shelf next to all of the other external hard drives, and you're wondering to yourself, well, why is the number on the price tag in front of this one bigger than the price tag in front of the other hard drives over here, but when they're both like 4 terabyte drives? Now you have the beginning of the inkling about why it is worth every last dollar over a normal hard drive when you want to do more than just have some files over there.
And you'll also know why this latest addition to my collection of WD drives has perfectly maintained the, the, the trust and value that I place in WD drives in my sort of personal use cases. As you saw, I've got a, a several WD drives up there and I rely on one to do my, I mean, this video was edited from files that I put on a WD drive and all that sort of stuff and they have never let me down. It's WD FTW as far as I'm concerned. They are fantastic. It's a brand I trust. It's a brand I'm happy to recommend. Uh, and and, it's, it's, and this, 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 this thing is just special. Super special. I, I, I'm very excited about this, this wee black box of, uh, of, of hard drives, really. Like I said, it's difficult to make a hard drive review sound exciting, but I hope I've communicated effectively why this is so exciting to me. And don't worry about it. This is an empty box. The hard drive's up there on the shelf working right now. I'm not shaking the hard drives, which is, is not a thing you should be doing with hard drives anyway. But anyway... Got kind of trailed off at the end there, didn't I? Thank you for watching. I am Blunty, and we'll catch you next time. And uh, WD, keep up the good work. You've got clever engineers over there. Clever, clever engineers. I like what you're doing.